Colombo, the bustling capital of the island state of Sri Lanka. It has a population of about one million and is the seat of parliament and of the government. Colombo is the administrative and commercial center of Sri Lanka, has a university and is the country's leading seaport and airport. At the same time, it is also a city full of idyllic charm. Its life dominated by its waterfront. Kandy lies 90 kilometers inland and was formerly the residence of the Senghalese kings. The lake in the center of the town is artificial and bears witness to the engineering prowess and quality of life in days gone by. Since its creation, secular power has constantly changed hands in Sri Lanka, but there is one aspect of Kandy which has not changed. It has always been a religious center. In Kandy, the town and its surroundings blend into one another harmoniously. Right in the center of the town, there is a very special gem of scenic beauty in the form of the botanical gardens which were landscaped in 1824. The splendor of these gardens should not blind us to one important fact, however, namely that many of these plants and flowers would not thrive here without irrigation. Water is a precious commodity in this country vital to the existence not only of plants, but of humans and animals as well. Seasons of drought alternate with seasons of rain, when the world disappears behind a grey curtain of rain. Torrents of water pour into the valleys when the rivers and streams are in flood, a waste of natural resources and energy. This is why the country has a long tradition of building and operating irrigation schemes and has developed great skill in this. An existing water course is dammed at a suitable point to provide a supply of water in the dry season which can be fed to the fields through a network of creeks and canals. The oldest barrages in the country, such as this one near Mahayangana, date back to the 10th century and bear eloquent testimony to the high level of technical perfection achieved in hydraulic schemes in Sri Lanka in very early times. This tradition has been maintained right up to the present day. The river with the largest volume of water and with a length of 330 kilometers, the longest in Sri Lanka, is the Mahaweli. It is along this river that the largest present-day barrages are being built. Today's barrages are designed not only for irrigation purposes, but also for electricity generation and flood control. The largest of these reservoirs along the Mahaweli is the Randanigala Reservoir. It is 12 kilometers long from the actual dam to the far end of the reservoir, has a water spread of 23 square kilometers